So here's how it works. This is a dish filled with mercury. Mercury is a liquid metal. And you can see that the dish is open to the air right now. And in the dish we have this tube that's also filled with mercury. The tube is open at the bottom and it's immersed in the dish, but it's closed at the top. And so you can see that the mercury inside the tube is not going down at all. It's kind of the same idea if you've ever put your finger on top of a straw. The liquid stays in there. Okay, now if you can imagine this, remember all that weight that we have from the air? So that weight is going to be pushing down on the mercury in the dish. And that's kind of what is holding this mercury in the dish at a constant level. It's also going to hold the dish or the mercury inside the column at a constant level. Now here's the thing with atmospheric pressure. It changes all the time. Sometimes it may push down even more. And if it does, the mercury in the dish has to go somewhere. The only place it could go is up the column, and so this would be pressure going up, or high pressure. And if there's less uh, pressure, less weight pushing down, then we'd have low pressure. This allows us to predict the weather. High pressure means we're going to have nice, sunny weather. Whereas a low pressure, if pressure is falling, means it's going to be rainy and cloudy. And that's how a barometer works.